In a hole in the ground, there lived a hobbit. Not a nasty, dirty, wet hole filled with ends of worms or oozy smells. Lord, no, no, this was a sophisticated hobbit. A hobbit with class and style. Let me tell you what, this hobbit was uh, tired of looking at his basic starter hole and decided to jump into uh, designing his first uh, real hobbit habitat, uh, just like the book. It had a perfectly round door, well, mostly perfectly round door, Maybe there's no circles in this game, painted green with a shiny yellow brass knob in the exact middle. The door opened on a tube-shaped hall like a tunnel. Very, a very, very comfortable tunnel. So, I'm trying to make cozy here. I'm using a few different types of wood. Uh, the first inside there was a dark oak on the inside layer. And then on the second layer on the outside, I used a birch uh, planks. And then the outside, I decided to use oak to give it some texture and some layer. And really I'm just bouncing back in between using stairs, planks, slabs, creating this design, making some windows, working my way around the outside. I still have a lot of work I plan on doing around the outside here. I'm gonna make a big garden, a really excellent path around the outside, but this weather's been horrible. So, thanks for joining me in this journey through building my basic starter hobbit hole here. Let's go take a little peek on the inside. I've got a little starter path on our way through here. I went ahead and alternated the floor, um, different types of oak looks. So that was some storage basic setup. I've got my fancy bedroom here to the left. Um, I've got some checkerboard sides here, basic couch. Obviously, I'm going to do a ton more work here, but thanks for watching. Thanks for coming back, brave travelers. I know you could be watching something else, but you chose me, little old me. Ooh, you make me feel so good. All right, so today we're gonna do a little bit of adventuring, a little bit of exploring, but first I should probably explain what you just saw. Uh, I was kind of over my basic starter hole and I wanted to do something a little bit more fancy. So I went ahead and did a little bit of interior decorating. I went ahead and uh, put together a nice little bedroom in there. Um, if you guys want, I can put together a full video explaining how I designed and put all that stuff together. But for now, I'm just going to leave it a little hobbit hole montage at the beginning. So today, uh, we need a few things before we get started. If you notice right out here, all of our wheat's looking excellent. And our pumpkins have grown. Like I said before, it actually grows on adjacent sides, so you have to leave space like that for these boys to grow. And the best thing about these is whenever you break your pumpkin, pick it up, and the stalk stays, and it starts growing a new one. So let's go let's just go ahead and go through and collect all these pumpkins. Today, we're going to be talking about the ordering of the Shire. The Shire is divided into four quarters, or the farthings, referred to as north, south, east, and west. And now they'll all just restart growing again. Bam! Just like that. Bam! What is going on here? Am I a wizard? Have I become a wizard now? Oh, you fools! So, we'll throw our pumpkins in here for later. Let's take a little peek over here at our wheat field. Let's go ahead and collect all this up. Because I would like to breed a little bit more because I need some leather. In the north farthing, you have the green fields and the mines at Scary. To the south, you find Longbottom and the much wetter country, which is where all of the... Um, all right, oh man, that got us so much stuff. We're looking at over almost four stacks of seeds. We're looking at at least a stack of wheat. Oh, this makes me so happy. 
And this is gonna make my cows happy. Specifically, I need leather for a few reasons. Uh, there's a, uh, later on, once we start enchanting, I wanna be able to make books. In order to make books, we gotta have leather. Uh, the second reason I want them is because I want to be able to make some uh, leather boots because I plan on going across these mountains to a village I spotted I way back in our first episode and uh, if you saw the first episode you saw me fall dramatically into the powdered snow and uh, you know if I would have been a little bit more prepared before I start crossing mountains I wouldn't have almost died if I had a little bit of iron because like I said I made that bucket and I decided to make some shears shears are excellent shears are used for the sheep so we took some wool and we made a carpet so we could easily get over here and now if we right click our sheep we can actually gather all of their wool and we don't have to kill them let's go ahead and collect all this up now, as they go around, and oh, stop pushing me around, guys. Oh, gosh, it's like a mosh pit. Where'd he go? There you are. A Dracula! Okay, so, dangerous, get out. Watch this. Boop. Oh, yeah, get out of the way. Okay. Thank you, gentlemen. Thank you. Let's run back over this way. I'm going to keep our shield or shears for this adventure because we may run into some things that we could be shearing. Let's take some of this wheat and let's breed these boys up a little bit. To the east, you find Michael Delving and like the lock holes and uh, that's where like the mayor stays and stuff like that. And far to the west, you find Buckland and beyond that is the old forest. Um, Later in the Hobbit's history, the East and West March, Buckland and West March, uh, they were added to in the Shire in 1452 of the Shire Reckoning. Most of the larger events that happen in the Lord of the Rings is in the middle of the Shire, you know, through Bag End, Hobbiton, Bywater. They cross through um, Wood Hawes. Go. Now, if you noticed uh, in the video earlier, actually, just go ahead and make these boots real fast. So to make the leather boots, we need four pieces of leather. Let's go ahead and pull these down. What else can we make? Hey, man, why not? Why not? Why not put together a nice little cap? Who knows? We're going somewhere dangerous. Something else I've been considering, since I have a little bit of extra iron, I'm going to make a shield to make a shield which is one iron ignit and it's surrounded by planks because we're going to be fighting some bullies and let's go ahead and put together an iron chest plate just for safety purposes and we got the advancement suit up and before we leave we're going to go ahead and cook up this beef that way we can have some food along the way we do not want to run out of food. Now, as these cook up, if you pull up your inventory, you can actually grab your breastplate and you can equip it. Oh, it's going to cover up my great skin, though. Oh, I'd almost rather be naked. That's fine for now. Let's go ahead and throw on our cap. It just kind of looks like my hair, so that works out. And uh, let's put our booties on so we don't fall through the snow. And last but not least, you take your shield and you can put it over here in your offhand. You can also put torches in there. All right, it looks like our food's uh, done cooking, so let's go ahead and check on that. Oh, I'm lost. There we go. So we bring our steaks with us. Gourmet steaks. Cooked medium, obviously. Uh, if you cook it any more than medium, you're actually hurting yourself. You're probably giving yourself some type of, like, steak cancer. Uh, I have not done the research, but take my word for it. I'm a hobbit. Thane of the Shire was often the chief took most of the time, and the Thane was the master of the Shire Moot, captain of Shire Muster, and hobbitry in arms. Uh, there wasn't much need for the Thane, but if there ever was an attack on the Shire, they usually had a battle plan. Okay, here we go. Here's something super cool. Check this out right here. So this right here is sugarcane. We're gonna need a ton of this later. 
uh, for a few reasons, but specifically, we're going to need it for uh, enchanting. So it grows next to a water source. It can grow on grass. It can grow on moss. It can grow on dirt and sand, but it grows like this and it grows in three stages. So we're going to leave this grown here. We'll go ahead and take some for now and we'll let it grow there. So in case maybe we need some later, we'll know there's some growing over there. Ooh, oh, there's tons up through here anyways. Oh, looky, looky here. So, here's our first village. Check this out. A really cool little mountain village. It looks like they have a cool little road leading down here to the water, staring at this terrifying looking cave I'd like to get into later. Leads up the path here. Oh, not a very well built path, by the way. God, man. Who designed this place? All kinds of hay bales which is what you can take wheat and combine nine of them into and create for decoration purposes, for transport if you got too much. Oh boy, it's starting to get dark. Man, who made this road? So before we do anything, let's jump inside of one of these houses and find a bed and go to sleep. Ooh, I hear the grubbles. Sir! 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 It always feels like somebody's watching me. Move. All right, so this is an iron golem. Uh, whenever a certain amount of villages spawn, villagers spawn in an area and they become afraid, they can spawn an iron golem to protect them. They're peaceful to us unless you attack them and then they will try to crush your face. If you kill an iron golem, uh, it will also lower your reputation in the town. You notice you have right here in the middle of town, you can ring a town bell. And it will signify a meeting time, or if they're under a pillager attack, everyone will run and hide. Let's go take a look around here, see if we can find anything cool. Big cool double building here. Ooh, librarian stand and all these books. Oh, I want to steal these. I'll probably steal these later. But for now, I'll leave them. Ooh, here's one of a, here's a farmer. Each one of these villagers have uh, different trades and such, but I'm not going to get too much into those for now uh, because that's going to be a whole video by itself. We're just doing a little bit of exploration here. So it looks like powdered snow with our booties on, light as a rabbit. We will not fall through this powdered snow. And we get an achievement. Third level to the village here. This thing is sprawling. See what else we can gank. Ooh, some nice blocks. So we got a blast furnace over here. Very cool. Why does it look like this path keeps going over the mountain? Is there more to this place? Are you kidding me? Hold on. Let's go check it out. Man, we are getting hot. What? Are you kidding me? Look at this. A path. What is this spawn? Is this one village or is this two villages? This reminds me of a hobbit town way up in the north farthing. It's actually a mining town. Um, it was used during the rebellion times when Sauron was taking over and the rebels decided to, uh, they had needed a space to work out of and hide and, and counterattack against his evil men. And it's called Scary. It's way up north. It's mines and stuff like that. It's very cool. This is amazing. Well, I may have to take back my comments. Wow! Oh! This is the backside of where we saw in the last episode when we were trying to get those sheep. Dude. Oh, it's gorgeous. All right, let's take a little peek in here. Ooh, is this like a little terracotta house? Fancy. So we got a stone cutter. Things. Hello, everyone. Hello, hello. Leather workers. Looks like we got two of them. Hello, sir. Three leather workers. What in the... I do not want your pink pants. Maybe I do. Oh, look right there. Some booties. Oh, but I do not have pants. I'll take those. And with that, 
our first emeralds. Emeralds are what you use to trade all these villager trades and stuff like that. You trade things to them for emeralds, and then they trade things back. So if I wanted some pants, I could trade him some emeralds or different ones. Hey now, taters! That's what I'm looking for, baby. That's gonna go in the garden. Oh, it's gonna be beautiful. I can't wait for you guys to see my garden. These guys with the fancy hats, fishermen. So like I said, you can trade emeralds to them or you can trade things like coal and you can get emeralds out of it and you get an advancement made. What a deal. But for now, we're gonna leave this guy alone and keep going. Oh, this looks like it's this little fishing house. Oh, hey, sorry, bro. Thanks for the coal, but I'm taking it back. Cats are great. They usually spawn in these villages just like iron golems, and they keep creepers away. I don't know why, but creepers are afraid of them, and I love it. So if you can get yourself a cat, get yourself a cat. We got a grindstone over here. Lava. We got anybody working? No? Wow, this place is full. Hold on. Uh, just more junk. Okay. Oh, we got some good stuff on this raid. I mean, this... Not this raid, this... Peaceful, friendly mission. This friendship mission to other Hobbit towns. Uh, the other person who is in charge of... Or not really in charge. The Shire didn't have much of a government. But they did have a mayor who was in charge of the entire thing. Uh, he lived in Mickle Delving. And he was elected every seven years at the free fair on the White Downs at Lyft. Usually on Midsummer. Now the mayor's duties was basically to preside at banquets and weddings. So he was well fed. He was well dressed. Uh, 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 hold on. Hold on. Am I? Is it just the few here? Yeah, I can't cut these down. These are too pretty. But I will find some more later. Uh, the cherry trees, they come in all kinds of different stuff, so. Oh, hey, iron. Oh, hey, iron. I'll come back for you. So if you see the little flowers on the ground, you can actually punch those and pick them up. And they can be used as for like a decorative floor stuff. Um, really cool thing about them is that they come in four different levels so down one and you see it does one corner clip right click it again second three and four so you can actually <laughs> do you mind i'm making a video but it only comes back in one so you can do all kinds of cool decorating stuff with that i will take these i will take these I will take these. Actually, you know what, buddy? There's a reason I brought these shears. Mm-hmm, there sure is. So with shears, you can cut leaves and they stay in that block. I'm just gonna take a little bit off the back side. You know, places where people aren't gonna see. I'll take those back home maybe for some decorations. I'm gonna take some home for sure. Because I can't stand seeing it and not taking any of it home. All the while keeping our eyes out for dangerous things, obviously. Alright. This looks like a dangerous hole. Let's go investigate. Oh, that opens up. Wow, what is this, a tripstone cave? Hold on, let's throw some torches down here. Light the place up. I always like to light up an area before I try and do any real digging or anything because you don't want things to spawn on top of you. Look how big that hole is. Oh, we're way up in the mountain here. This is a great spot. Ooh, creeper over there. 
see. It's one last offer. The water actually keeps creepers away, which is a nice little fact too. Oh, tons of iron up here. Mamma mia. Wait a second. Did you hear that? Did you guys... Did you guys hear that? What the? Alright, anyways. So I did see a little skeleton boy over here. Luckily, we came prepared. It's a great opportunity. Oh, two skeleton boys. I'm sorry. A little bit of a mismatch. They're looking pretty rude. Let's see if we can drop, drop a torch. Drop a torch, run away. Let's see if we can get in the pool behind us here. Okay, so if we hold our shield up, it will protect us from the air as he's firing. We make a little bit of movement here. We fire, and we get an achievement for blocking it. Back, sneak attack! Oh. Oh. You're not dead yet? Are you kidding me? Whew. I am not the best at fighting skeletons. And that was also an unfair fight. Three on one? Come on. Well, our heart's a little bit low. What do we do? Eat a little bit. So let's go ahead. Clean up some of this iron. Might as well take this too. Oh, here's an even easier little exit of the way out. Ooh, Enderman. Okay. Quick thing about Enderman is that as long as you don't look directly in their chest or in their eyes, they won't attack you. They will be a neutral mob. They just like to zoom around and jump scare and, you know, stuff like that to just kind of get in your head and make you really, really jumpy. I don't know how low we're going to get today. Now, the reason we're finding so much iron is because we are so far up here in the mountains. Um, iron forms down in, like, Y16, and also it forms uh, up in the mountains. Pretty high up, actually. So if we hit F3... We can pull up our thing here and over on the left side, you can see our X, Y, Z, and our Y is 135. So um, <clears throat> we're very high up. We're a hot mountain high. So this is a great place to find some iron up here in the mountains. The took in me is telling me to go grab that iron up there, but the baggins in me is telling me to go back home. Don't risk it, Baggins. What if there's something dangerous up there? Look, zombie. You hear that zombie groaning? He's about to fall right on your head. I do not have a silk touch pickaxe right now, so I'm not gonna mine this block over here, but it's called, it's an emerald block. And you would say to yourself, oh, Dawson, emeralds, you just said you can get them from trading these goofball, um, the goofball villagers. Well, that is true, but in the wild, they're super rare. They only spawn in super specific spots. And when you break them, they do turn into emeralds. But I'm going to leave that guy right there. I'm going to write down these coordinates. And I'm going to come back for that once I have silk touch. Hello, sir. Hello. You please. Anybody? This is your moment. I know you want to hit me. Do it, do it, do it. And after a long but successful journey around a little bit of our environment, we come back home. We see a lot of our plants growing. Obviously our pumpkins are crushing. Okay, and we're back. All of our iron has been smelted. We came away from that trip with 49 iron. And all right, now we did get a few more seeds. Before we go today, one last thing I want to do is I want to get some of these other seeds in the ground. So let's grab those potatoes. 
And let's go ahead and grab that sugar cane. So potatoes work very much the same way as wheat does. Okay, let me just go ahead. Get ourselves some potatoes here. Plant ourselves a row. Now, fun thing that I did not mention before in previous episode is that if you plant things in rows, just like in real life, so potatoes, wheat, potatoes, wheat, potatoes, wheat, or potatoes, wheat, carrots, beets, potatoes, wheat, carrots, beets, whatever you have, if you plant them in alternating fashion, the plants will actually all grow better together. The whole thing's gonna grow faster, so. We'll go ahead and leave that one because it's almost done. Now we got our potatoes in the ground. Potatoes are awesome. You can use them as trade for villagers, and you can also put them in your furnace and make them into baked potatoes, a great source of food and experience. Now we have one more thing we want to get in the ground today, and that's this sugar cane. It grows, like I said, a little bit differently. It needs to be uh, near a water source. So let's go ahead and get our bucket and let's go get some water. Here's a cool tip. So you can take trap doors and place it over your water source like this, and it will protect the hole, and that way, whenever you're working on your sugar cane here, which can sometimes explode in different directions, uh, it's easier to pick up. So on each side of a water source, sugar cane can be planted. If you try to plant it over here, right click, right click, see it won't work. It's gotta be right next to a water source. So we've got a few more. So let's go ahead and do a little bit more work here. Let's get our trap doors. Two, three. Plant our sugar cane. do is wait. We've got all the extra crops set up now. We've got our sugar cane. We've got our sheep. We've got our pumpkins running hard. We've got potatoes and we've got hay. Our cows are looking great. We've got a, almost a full set of iron. Y'all, this has been a productive day. Thank you so much for joining me today on this adventure. Uh, make sure to like and subscribe if you want more of this content. Uh, I'm sure that there's going to be more coming your way. Lots more big builds as soon as I... Wait! How did that purple sheep get up there? See, it? no way. That's definitely a purple sheep. Is that my purple sheep? Sir, could I interest you in some... Wheat? Crisis averted. Anyways... Thanks for coming to my world, guys. Make sure to like and subscribe. I'll be coming up with regular videos. Um, thank you so much for all of the views and the likes. They mean so much to me. Uh, share these videos. And for now, Baggins! <laughs>